Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be going over my music video export settings. I highly recommend you guys follow these settings when exporting your music videos. This is basically just exporting your videos at the highest quality possible so you don't lose any quality when uploading to YouTube or uploading to any other platforms. Um, this is going to be best for your clients when you're sending off your videos. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials just like this one. And make sure to leave a comment as well letting me know what tutorials you guys want to see next. If you guys want to go support us as well, we have editing packs and merch linked in the description below. Without further further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so we are in Premiere Pro here. We have this Maddox video shot by me and Arazio. Just played out for you guys. The video isn't finished yet, but I'm just using it for the example of this tutorial. Um, I'm just doing the in and out points. So let's say, for example, music video ends here where it should. You want to go to the very beginning, hit I for your in point, go to the very end, and then do O for out. Let's just make sure it's at the end just like it is. So then you have your out point at the very end and then your in point at the very beginning. And then you want to hit control M on your keyboard. It'll be brought up to this export settings. And then next you want to go over to your output name where it's in blue, click on that and then figure out where you want to save it to. So I'm just going to go over to the Maddox three folder, right click new folder exports. And then let's call it Maddox three V one. All right, so you want to make sure your format is H.264 and then your preset match source high bitrate. So if we go down here to the basic video settings, you'll see the video is in 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate is set to 25 frames per second. I'm just going to change that to 23.976 because it looks a lot smoother. It's a more cinematic look. I just prefer it myself and I recommend you guys change that as well for your music videos if it's not already at that. And then you want to head down here and click render at maximum depth. You want to keep on scrolling. See where it says hardware encoding? Make sure you have hardware encoding on. If you do have software encoding, switch it to hardware encoding. It basically just means hardware encoding is going to be using your graphics card to render it and software encoding is going to be using your CPU to render it. Uh, you want to go over to profile where it says main, uncheck this check mark, switch it to high, and then where it says level, uncheck this check mark and switch it to 5.1. We're just going to change this back here to 23.976 and that looks good there. All right, keep on scrolling where it says bitrate encoding in the bitrate settings. You want to change that to CBR and then you want to drag this to around 150, whatever you guys think is best. As you can see at the bottom left here, the estimated file size is 2400 megabytes, which is 2.4 gigabytes. I recommend around 150. It's going to be a very large file size because the song only is like a minute and 50 seconds. So I like to do around 150. You guys can go max if you want. That's 4.8 gigabytes really big file size but once again you're not losing any of the quality in the video it's rendering it at the maximum quality i recommend like i said going around 150 but i'm gonna go a little bit lower i like giving my clients uh, files that are two gigabytes so i'm just gonna go around uh, 126 127 and then it's around two gigabytes there and make sure you have use maximum render quality checked here and just to make it easier for you guys make sure you go over here and then save the preset and then you guys can call it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it music video export preset hit okay and then there you go every time you want to go export a music video come up here click preset and it will be at the very top so you don't have to do those settings every time and then you're just going to hit export and then once you hit that the video will start exporting anyways guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial i know it's a super 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 quick tutorial if you guys want to see more videos just like this leave a thumbs up and make sure to go check out our editing packs and merch they are linked in the description below they directly support us so i can upload these tutorials travel to film these videos and do all this other cool shit that i can bring content for you guys so you guys can learn from me thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one